Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today my Flytanium scales arrived. Now these are for my mini bug out. And this is going to be basically for a future project when I eventually uh, get to anodizing titanium, uh, which will happen very soon. I know I keep saying it, but I promise it will happen very soon. So I just got these because they were a good price on White Mountain Knives. And I just had to get them because they were in stock. And I also wanted to make my mini bug out just a little bit heavier. And this is going to add a little bit of weight. But I can already see from the packaging that they did a lot of milling. But we'll get a closer look. And then one more thing I wanted to mention was I stumbled upon some titanium hardware. Now the description said that this only fits the regular size bug out. So I just, I was willing to risk it. Um, since these are only $15 and if they didn't fit big deal and I could also test Anodizing these but I already did a test run on the knife and the pivot is the correct length So I'm happy about that and this actually fits the mini bug out So I'm super happy about that and I'll leave the links down below where you guys can pick up pretty much all these things uh, the scales the Amazon titanium hardware screws and all that good stuff and the knife. With that being said, let's uh, let's get into the scales because I'm very curious to see what these things look like up close. I've seen a bunch of photos on Instagram of with people modding theirs, so I figured it's about time I do mine. And they just look really good. So what's really cool about Flytanium, you get a cool sticker. So I'm super happy about that. Love my stickers. You guys know that already. Um, but let's check out the scales. They look, well, they're beautifully milled. So Flytanium definitely knows what they're doing. Um, since I did purchase the Yojimbo brass, or the Yojimbo brass scales from them, and they were beautiful as well. But these are really, really nice. And again, just beautifully milled and not too not too heavy so we're not going to be adding too much weight to the mini bug out now let me grab my scale really quick and we can just do a quick way before uh, we install these bad boys so with the original scales we're looking at 1.52 ounces so very very light i mean that's what this knife is known for so we'll keep that in mind. So let's get to installing the titanium scales on this knife. And we'll check the weight and all that good stuff. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna install the titanium hardware as well. I might go back to the black hardware with the titanium scales, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like with just all titanium. All right, so here it is with the titanium scales on, and I am super happy with them. I can definitely feel the weight. It's not a lot heavier, but it does add a good weight to it. The action is still good. Drop shut is almost there. I'll probably just have to adjust the pivot, but that's not too big of an issue. Obviously, we have a little bit of color clash since the orange is on there from the original. And the hardware is just a plain finish. But I do plan on anodizing these here pretty soon in the near future. Same with the scales. And they are a little bit on the smooth side. 
since they are just a nice, a very nice stone washed finish, I might add. But I will be creating some texture and then anodizing those as well. Not exactly sure what color I'll be going with uh, the first time I anodize it, but since these are orange, the thumb studs and the standoffs, I'm thinking kind of a Green Goblin kind of look to it or theme since I am a Spider-Man fan. So maybe I'll keep the orange and then do green. Sto definitely stonewash the blade or etch and then stonewash the blade. But those are, those are just ideas. And really quick, let's just give it a quick way just to see how much we're adding. So 2.26 ounces, nothing crazy. Um, obviously it's over the two ounce mark, but if you are looking for some strength and keeping the weight down, then I think, I think these are a good way to go. Looks really good. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I think I'm going to throw the black hardware on and we'll see what that looks like as well. So with the power of editing, I will have those on right now. And here it is with the black hardware. Honestly, I think it looks, I think it looks a lot better with the black hardware. So I think I'm going to keep it on for the time being until I am able to anodize some things and then I'll definitely anodize the hardware to make it go with whatever I anodize the scales with. So I am really liking, actually, I'm actually really loving these scales. They're, again, they add that really good weight that I like and it just feels, just feels a lot more, a lot more sturdy in hand, a lot stronger. So yeah, if you guys, again, are looking for a stronger replacement for those GRN handles, then highly recommend these. I believe they also have uh, copper and brass and uh, carbon fiber ones too. Yeah, so definitely check out Flytanium. They do have a lot more scales for other knives as well. And that's pretty much it. Let me know down below what you guys think. Maybe I'll just etch the blade before I even do anything else to it, just so it kind of has a nice theme going. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.